was a physician, I can tell you there's no more devastating moment for us than to see the, a lab result that comes back, it's unexpected. Uh, a child who has, may have too high a white blood count and we know probably has leukemia or a, a CAT scan that has a, a spot on it that shouldn't be there. And we know uh, we're gonna be talking about a brain tumor with a child. Childhood cancers are, are rare problems, but they are intense when they do happen to a family. The most common leukemia happens in about 35 in a million children. And altogether in Ventura County, there will be about 42 children every year that are diagnosed with the type of cancer. Structure of the family is pretty much shattered as soon as you get a diagnosis of cancer in one of your children. Nothing's ever the same after that in your life. And um, so our job really is to help facilitate the care that's required to keep those children alive and help them to survive. Our clinic is located in Ventura County Medical Center and we are ready access to any family in need. As a county facility, we attempt to help everyone that we possibly can. And any physician and any family member can give us a call and we'll see them within the same day if needed. You know, there's a real advantage to having the pediatric hematology oncology uh, clinic right here in the hospital. Uh, one floor down is our uh, pediatric unit. Our pediatric hospitalist just has to run up a flight of stairs uh, as well as the nurses and, the, and they're right here. I'm the only pediatric hospitalist in Ventura County. It's my only job. I don't have clinic responsibilities so I get to see all the sick kids who come through the hospital. We provide comprehensive care and what what is sort of the popular term these days is a medical home. Um, and we provide that for any child. We provide it for well children and we provide it for chronically ill and, and quite sick children. If there is an emergency, if there is a, a sudden deterioration, everything that child needs is right here in these walls. Working here has changed my life. I've, I've done many jobs um, in my five years of nursing career and um, here has been my favorite job and um, has changed who I am and how I, how I view life. Um, it's, it's a lot different to view life through the eyes of a two and three year old who's dealing with cancer. Tyler was diagnosed um, October of 2008. He was just getting really high fevers, like one right after another. We did the ultrasound and they told me that he had a Wilms tumor. We had cancer and our whole lives turned upside down. Well, Ventura County Medical Center, I mean, the pediatric floor itself and the oncology floor, um, they're just wonderful. Dr. Bracho gives me the assurance that everything's going to be okay. Tyler does great here. I mean, he's in love with Christy. He loves to come in here and play with the Play Doh, and he's a different kid when we're here, you know. He gets to run around and he, he pushes their little rolly chairs up and down the hallway. The children like to come here because, because they have a good time while they're here. And we try to make it as fun as possible for them to get what they need. The parents like to come here because they know that we're connected with Children's Hospital Los Angeles and with Ventura County Medical Center and Landon Pediatric Foundation. The, the parents are comfortable because they feel Dr. Bracho's expertise and the expertise of the nurses. Many people know that uh, cancer is a terrible diagnosis. What some people don't know is that we are able to cure most of these children. I'm Jessen's dad. Shortly after Thanksgiving of last year, um, he got a really bad nosebleed for a week. It didn't go away. We tried everything. Um, went to the doctor several times, the, uh, the ER, and nobody could figure out why. He has what's called ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. We're coming up on the most serious phase of his treatment, which is going to be almost every day for two weeks. Having a clinic in Ventura is a lot, a lot, uh, a lot easier on the family, a lot easier on Jess and travel time. He's getting tired of the drives. Even just to drive to LA for one day is just really a long day can be 12 hours, even for a short procedure. Many of the families appreciate the fact that we now have someone local. Uh, we have been here a little over a year, so some families have had much of their treatment down in Los Angeles and now are being able to be treated here. They, they tell me often that they are so happy that we are here locally. Some of the families that were finished with treatment said, oh, why couldn't I have been here two years ago? 
We've been recognized by California Children's Services, also known as CCS, as being a, a community California Children's Services hospital, basically validating the fact that we have met standards um, to take care of the more chronically ill children and provide those type of services. The Charity League uh, has been having fundraisers to help get this place started every year for many years now. And we would not be here without the Junior Charity League. It would definitely be a lot more challenging if this clinic wasn't here. I don't, I don't know what I would do. I mean, you know, it's, it's a godsend, this place. I'm very grateful of the care that I, my son has been given. Um, you know, it saved his life. Kids in, the, in, it, in themselves are special, but kids with cancer are even more special and they have to realize that, you know, cancer is something that they have, but it's not, it's not something that has a hold of them. What cancer cannot do, cancer is so limited. It cannot cripple love, it cannot shatter hope, it cannot corrode faith, it cannot silence courage, it cannot conquer the spirit.